Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about simple past tense by comparing it with simple present tense. Here you can see how the verb is transforming from simple present tense to simple past tense. In simple past tense, second form of the verb is used with all type of subjects. Here are the outlines of today's lesson. As I have already mentioned, we will try to understand simple past tense by comparing it with simple present tense. We will mention some uses and functions of simple past tense. We will see the structure of simple past tense, regular and irregular verbs, the formulation of sentences in simple past tense, negative sentences and interrogative sentences. And of course, I am going to give you different tasks during the lesson. So watch the whole lesson very carefully. We use simple past tense when we talk about a habitual action in the past. For example, he always carried his laptop with him. We also use simple past tense when we talk about an action completed in the past at a definite time. For example, mother came home last night. Another time of using simple past tense is when we want to make polite request or when we ask questions. For example, I wanted to ask you for a small favor. Habitual actions in simple present tense and habitual actions in past tense. I always go to school on time. I always went to school on time. We always sing patriotic songs. We always sang patriotic songs. You always run fast in the race. You always ran fast in the race. They usually eat snacks at 10.30. They usually ate snacks at 10.30. He always drives very carefully. He always drove very carefully. She takes care of her pet. She took care of her pet. It always gives comfort. It always gave comfort. In simple present tense, we have used the first form of the verb and in with third person singular, he, she and it, we have added s or es with the verb. Instead, in simple past tense, we have used second form of the verb with all the subjects. It is very important for us to know about regular and irregular verbs when we talk about simple past tense or past participle tense. Irregular verbs are the verbs in which past tense is not formed by adding the usual ed ending. Let's have a look on the structure of simple present and simple past tense while using irregular verb. In simple present tense we use subject, first form of the verb and object. Instead in simple past tense we use subject, second form of the verb and object. In present tense, I, V, U, they eat the breakfast daily. And third person singular, he, she, it eats the breakfast daily. And in past tense, I, V, U, they, he, she, it ate the breakfast yesterday. 
Here is a small task for you related to irregular verbs. You have to complete the following statements by using the following second form of irregular verb. Begin, broke, brought and drew. The show dash very late. He dash the glass in anger ali dash many toys for kids the child dash regular verbs are those verbs that form their past participle with d or ed most of the verbs in english language are regular verbs Let's see an example of simple present and simple past with a regular verb. In present tense, I, we, you, they, play, he, she, it, plays. In past tense, instead, I, we, you, they, he, she, and it, played. Your second task is about the usage of regular verbs. Complete the following statements using the following second form of regular verbs walked, danced, worked and painted. Auxiliary verbs are also irregular verbs. You already know that in simple present tense we use the verb do with I, we, you and they and with he, she and it we use does. In simple past tense we use only one word with all the subjects which is did. In negative sentences of simple past tense, we use first subject, then right after subject we use did not, then first form of the verb and object. Please notice that normally in simple past tense we use second form of the verb, but when we use did for negative or interrogative, we use first form of the verb. I did not eat my breakfast. We did not eat our breakfast. You did not eat. For interrogative sentences or let's say for questions, we use did at the beginning of the sentence. After did, we use subject, then first form of the verb and object. Did I eat my breakfast? Did we eat? Did you eat? Did they eat? Did he eat? Did she or did it? Here comes the third and the last task for today's lesson. Study the table below and fill in the blank spaces with interrogative, negative or positive sentences. Now you may pause the video to do this task. Today's lesson was about simple past tense and we studied simple past tense by comparing it with simple present tense. We have seen some uses and functions of simple past tense, structure of simple past tense, regular and irregular verbs, sentences, negative sentences, interrogative sentences and some tasks for you. I hope you liked the video. 
टिल नेक्स्ट लेसन गुड बाय